how I attracted myself $10,000 in a very short amount of time. Hey, Scott Hauk here. In today's video, I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process I used to attract and manifest $10,000 out of the blue unexpectedly into my life. And if you follow this process, you can definitely do the same. Before we jump into the video today, make sure you throw a like on the video. And as you do so, it's going to send out to a lot more people and together we can raise the consciousness of this planet. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. All right, attracting money, right? It can be the funnest thing in the world. It could be the most frustrating thing in the world, depending on whether you're actually manifesting what you desire or manifesting what you don't desire, right? One day I wanted to test this just a little bit more. I, I had been doing manifesting techniques and exercises for a very long time, and I wanted to test out if I could actually attract to myself the amount of money that I wanted, which was $10,000, okay? At the time, $10,000 was bigger than normal. Usually I would manifest 500 bucks, 700 bucks, maybe $1,200. I mean, they weren't large chunks, okay? Sometimes a little larger, but it wasn't usually $10,000. So it was a little uncomfortable. It was a little bit more of a stretch for me. And that's kind of why I wanted to manifest is why I wanted the 10,000 for what I could use. But I also wanted to test it out and say, if this universe stuff, if these laws, laws of the universe stuff actually work, then therefore I must be able to attract any amount of money I wanted. So my first start was $10,000 on the first stretch goal for myself. So I went through this five-step process, this five-step process I teach in all my courses, but in a lot more depth. We're going to go through some of the steps right now. And if you follow these steps, you can absolutely attract any amount of money you want. Even if it's not $10,000 and it's 500 bucks, even if it's $50,000, it works for higher amounts as well. Whatever it is that you want, you will get it. But remember, this is not magic. Okay, so it wasn't like I thought about $10,000 when I fell asleep, I dreamt it, and I woke up, and there was $10,000 in my bank account. It didn't happen like that, and it also wasn't magic. So it wasn't like I just thought of it. I imagine I visualized it for 10 minutes. I opened my eyes, and boom, it was sitting there on my desk. That didn't happen either. Okay, so you want to realize this stuff isn't magic. It's not something that poops out of the thin air. It's a natural process that gets initiated, if you will, and starts to move towards you as you move towards it. Now, the dollar bills, are they actually moving towards you? Actually, they might be because people are handing it off to the next person, or if it's a digital number like your credit card, debit card, bank statement, something like that, is it getting closer to you? Not exactly, but energetically it is because we're setting things in motion. Okay, so let me talk about this just a bit. So that night when I that day when I manifested ten thousand dollars, it was about a week prior, about seven days, and I had sat down and wrote down in the present tense, I just now received ten thousand dollars unexpectedly with joy and fun, because I didn't want it to come with uh, hardship, frustration, all those things. I wanted it to become very easy, so I wrote that down in present tense as if I already had it. From there, I created an end scene in my mind. So I closed my eyes and my imagination, I created an end scene indicating that I had already received the money. So this time in my bank account, I actually saw my, my checking account increase by $10,000. So I created and saw that number in my mind and, and tried to feel into it. That's one of the toughest parts with manifestation as well, is feeling it that it's true now, like you've actually got it. One of the tricks that helped me do that was when I saw the image in my mind of the increase of $10,000 in my bank statement, I actually used my inner speech to match with it. So I tell myself things like, I just now received $10,000. It's amazing. I would say this in my thought, not out loud. I would say, thank you, thank you, thank you. So basically, speech that would indicate I already had it in my possession, okay? And that helped increase the joy, and I also use music. That's a great tip as well. Uh, any instrumental music, whether it's a movie soundtrack or anything else that you find, um, with my coaching clients, we have a vast playlist of tons of different tracks we use for manifesting. You can find them anywhere online. But I closed my eyes and started to feel it, right? And as I felt it, something kind of felt like it clicked a little bit, like it was mine. I felt the presence like I can have this. And as soon as I felt that, I knew that something had happened from my conscious to the subconscious. Something 
like you, it dropped in there, if you will. It kind of solidified in my subconscious. And I knew from learning all this manifestation secrets and ideas, right? I knew that once you get into your subconscious, there's nothing more that you must do to fuse with it. You don't need to visualize it. You don't need to affirm it. You don't need to repeat it. It's basically a done deal. As long as you stay steady in your faith and belief. So you can't doubt, you know, every single day, nonstop over and over and over because it won't come. Or you're over, quite overthinking it. So I did this and then I went into step four and step four, step three was feeling it, by the way, I didn't specify that. Step two is end scene. Step one is the present tense statement. Step four is the bridge of happenings or bridge of events happening between now and you re me receiving the $10,000 that, that week's time, there was a series of events that unfolded. It's called the bridge of incidents or bridge of events. And these bridge of events help guide you to the realization and the receiving of what it is that you want. So during those seven days, I tried to increase my service in my business. That was a channel through I knew sales could come, money could come, clients could come. Even though I was not used to bringing in a $10,000 sale in all in one go or a bunch of money that added up to $10,000 all in one day, I still knew that I needed to increase people. If I focused on me during the bridge of events, I would focus on doubt, worry, when's the money going to come? Where's the $10,000 going to come from? This is impossible and this is never going to happen, right? All those chaotic thoughts would happen. So I didn't want to go there. So what I did was distract myself with actually going out there and serving people. So during that week in my business, every day, and by the way, remember, I didn't know it was going to come in a week. So I just focused every day on increasing my service to my prospects and customers which meant like I just created a little bit more value and gave it to them. I created a little bit more value to my prospects and gave it to them. I also found a way to increase right everyday people. Like when I went to a grocery store, I would give a really nice thank you. When I would go to a restaurant or if I was going in Uber that week or whatever, I'd increase the tip that I gave. So I was just trying to do some increase, increasing the people I came in contact with. And that did twofold. Number one, I kept my thoughts off those overthinking thoughts and actually kept my thoughts steadily on how I could help. So I wasn't overthinking. This is what we call letting and allowing and manifestation. And the second part of it was I was mastering that letting and allowing process. So my energy was free flowing so I could attract in that $10,000. Uh, idea after idea started to happen within that week. Like I remember doing a couple of things in my business that I had ideas for. I intuitively thought, I'm going to post on social media this exact thing. I'm going to go live this day. I'm going to go do this. So I was following intuition at the same time during those seven days. Every single day, I'd follow some sort of intuitive pull. But again, every single time the $10,000 came back to mind of like, is it happening? Is it happening? I went back to service. I went back to thinking not about the $10,000. Basically, I tried to forget it. I tried to let it go. I didn't, I didn't have it on a note card or a goal card. I didn't try to keep repeating it. I just let it go and forgot about it completely. Because remember, I did that click. That click happened with my subconscious with that feeling of this is already mine. So what had happened is it was about seven days. It wasn't exactly seven days on the dial. It was like six days and probably like eight hours and 32 minutes. I don't know what the exact amount of time was. I didn't document minute by minute. But it was about that time frame where I had a prospect that was actually ready to go, but they wanted extra coaching package I never had before. They wanted extras. At the same time, they were ready to go, like literally from call number one. They just, they've heard my stuff before and they saw some of my stuff before and they really liked it. They were in harmony with it. They knew that they they could find great guidance and Soul Tribe and everything else where I, in my courses and programs. And boom, they signed up paying in full, and then a large chunk within that same day paying in full for extra uh, program and mentorship that I wasn't offering at the time, but they needed it, so I offered it on that call. And literally the exact sum of $10,000 came in that one day. It was amazing. So then I was like, well, am I excited about this once I received it? And I wasn't actually that excited. I was just thankful. So I already had lived it within and I kind of expected it. I expected it to actually happen. Therefore, when I got it, I wasn't over the top about it. I wasn't <clears throat> like, you know, I just drank a Red Bull and I was going nuts with excitement. It wasn't like that. It was just a calm assurance like, yeah, of course, 
of course I just manifested as $10,000, right? So that's the process that I did, and I've been able to predictively and consistently repeat this process, proving that it works over and over again. And then I built an entire course on it. It's called the Manifestation Accelerator. Literally, the whole course is based on these five steps, these five principles. By the way, we didn't go over through step number five. Step number five is a repeat for every desire you have. That's it. Okay, so you do, do the four steps in number fifth. The fifth one here is make sure you repeat with every intention, everything you want, material or non-material. You can manifest beliefs. You can manifest happiness. You can manifest confidence, all those things as well. Okay, so I did this process and I proved it so many times with so many different things that like I said it and then forgot about it and it would happen. Now, it gets into the age-old question, do I need to do repetition to actually get my goals? And it's a different question for a different video and that, that does work as well. You just want to make sure the number one thing that happens for you is the feeling is natural that you already have the thing. And once you get there, then it will come. And making sure you're really letting it alone. That's probably about, if I were to make a percentage, 80 to 90% of individuals' problems, people's problems in manifesting, is they're, they're not letting it allowing. They're just constantly thinking, constantly Constantly think of where is it going to come, when is it going to come, how is it going to come, all these different ideas, right? And it keeps them in chronic absence feeling, which actually manifests the absence of the thing. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if that makes sense. Uh, throw a yes into the comments if it does. i like to check in with you to make sure this is making sense as you are on my channel here, provide, getting value of things that have worked in my experience, my client's experience, if I've worked with over a thousand people on manifesting and helping them master this process. It's been unbelievable on how many people can use the same process and they get the results from it. And that's why we can say it's a proven process because if you say it, it's gonna work. And then, you know, every process, it's not always gonna work the first time, where right? you gotta tweak it, you gotta understand it, you gotta get better at it. And manifesting is a skill and that's really important for you to know, it's a skill. It's not something that, it does come naturally because we all can manifest, though, it's like riding a bicycle. If you don't practice that muscle, you don't practice that that balance and everything, it's not going to come so easy anymore. Even though we're given that birthright of being able to manifest, it doesn't mean we're all masters right now. We are internally in the perfection within us, but it, we have to practice it in the physical world in order to actually make it work and have it be a master skill of ours. So practice this, try it out, don't get frustrated. I, let's rephrase that because if you feel frustrated, that's okay and that's acceptable. Rather, let's say, don't create the story that if you don't get it the first time, that you're broken, it doesn't work for you. That's a story you're saying in your mind. And that story isn't true. Okay, so we want to refrain from telling ourselves a story of why it's not working. If you want to feel frustrated, that's okay. That's perfectly normal. Okay, but go into a zone of, I'm getting better. I'm practicing this skill. It's a new skill for me. And you'll eventually get it. All right. If you're interested in becoming one of our certified manifestation coaches and helping people teach, helping teach us to people and helping people with the manifestation process, <clears throat> you really like what we do here on the channel. You love law of attraction. You love personal development, manifesting. You love helping people and serving people. Check out our manifesting cer uh, certification there. It's a program where you get mentorship, building a coaching business, helping get clients enrolled and knowing how to do that. In the description below, we have a bunch of information on two of our courses, Manifestation Accelerator, which gives you a full system of what to do every single week, step by step. There's a $1 trial right now as a special offer. Go ahead and click the link below. And then we also have our certification. Interested in that, just go ahead and click below, fill out an application, book a call with my team, and then you'll get some more details on what the certification looks like and see if it's a great fit for you. One of the greatest opportunities you're going to find with you know, living your passion, living your purpose, and living the ultimate dream life that you're looking for, helping people, serving people, and making a greater impact on your legacy and purpose. Scott, I'm signing off here. I hope this video is immensely helpful. I'm looking forward to your comments and you mentioning yes that this was helpful and any results that come from it, check back to our YouTube channel here for everything go to manifesting meditations, ideas, exercises, and everything else. I'll see you over in the next video.